Hey guys, I hope you all are having a great start to your week. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful budget-friendly tablescape. These home decor DIYs can be used in many ways to create an elegant style home. Today's video is extra special to me because I'm collaborating with one of my favorite YouTubers, the super talented Denise from Be My Guest with Denise. Before I started my YouTube channel, I came across her videos and I was instantly hooked. She has been a big inspiration to me and I know she will be to you too. Her home is absolutely beautiful and I had the pleasure to meet her when she was in town. We had so much fun shopping at home goods and we decided to create a budget friendly tablescape so we did a couple of DIYs and hacks. I'll leave Denise's video in my description box so you can check it out you guys. It's absolutely beautiful. You're gonna love it. I hope you enjoyed today's video now let's get started with the first DIY. I will leave all the items you will need in the description box to make things easier. Starting off I'm using my scissors to remove the back clips because I will only be using the mirrors. Next, I laid them on top of the foam board with a little bit of space between them so I can add rhinestone wrap. I traced the mirrors to cut out the size I need and repeated this three more times to get a total of four foam board pieces. Now that they're all cut, I'm adding hot glue on top so I can glue two pieces together. I did this one more time to get a total of two stacked foam boards. This is when I'm going to apply the mirrors on top so I added a good amount of hot glue to secure the mirrors down. Before you glue everything down, make sure that you have enough space to glue the mirrors and rhinestone wraps so they don't hang off the foam board when hot gluing. Next, I hot glued the sides of the mirrored runner to add thin rhinestone wrap. I left one side of each mirror runner without the rhinestone wrap so that I can connect them together and it look like it's one piece when I put it on my table. Here's how the mirrored table runner turned out you guys. It's really sparkly and I couldn't resist adding the next DIY so I'm going to show you how to make that next. I ran out of rhinestone wrap to put in the middle where they connect so if you make this be sure to add some of it so it can look like a whole piece. These are the items you will need to make the second DIY and I'll leave a list to everything in the description box. When I saw these bowls from the Dollar Tree, I knew I was going to use them to create a centerpiece. I also found these really pretty tea light candle holders from Dollar Tree and they're very similar to the ones from Z Gallery, but the ones from Z Gallery have gold on the inside and these have silver. Starting off, I grabbed one medium bowl and applied hot glue to the back and put the tea light candle holder on top. Next, I added E6000 glue to hold another medium bowl on top and then hot glued one side of a napkin ring to place in the bowl for height. Then I added more glue to the top of the napkin ring and added another tea light candle holder. I'm going to make two sets of these medium sized candle holders and then two small sets in total to have five candle holders. Here's the final result of how everything turned out. I wanted to share with you guys how I styled it on my dining room table. I absolutely love how they look because of the price you can't beat it and they look really glam. 
You can use this set for a wedding, a birthday party, baby shower, or any other special occasion without breaking the bank. There are so many ways that you can style this in your home and since the holidays are coming up, this would be perfect for a console table, your fireplace, and the ideas just go on. Silver has always been my favorite to decorate with and I know many of you like it as well, so this tablescape is for you. Another tip I wanted to share with you guys is placing your napkin rings inside a decorative box. This helps them to stay dust free, have them organized and look pretty stored away. When I did my spring tablescape two years ago, I shared this idea with you guys and you loved it because it's like having a mini treasure chest for your table. Adding a decorative pillow to the head chairs make a statement at the dining table. Of course, this is just for decorative purpose, so meanwhile you don't use it, this is such a nice way to decorate your dining room. For the second DIY, I'm going to show you how to make a crystal bottom glass. Many stores carry these and they get pricey depending on how many you buy. I had some leftover crystal wrap that I used for my baby girl shoes to dazzle up and I wanted to use the remaining to make a beautiful glass. The glass cup is from Dollar Tree and I'll leave a link to where you can purchase the crystal wrap in my description box. I added E6000 glue at the bottom of the cup and then smoothed it out spreading it halfway around. You can cover the entire bottom with the glue for a more secure hold but this worked for me. I also added a little bit of hot glue but accidentally put too much so you'll see at the end it made a little bump under the crystal wrap. You don't have to add hot glue, I just added it because I wanted the wrap to hold faster to the glass so make sure if you add it to use a tiny tiny bit. I put one end of the wrap on top of the hot glue and started wrapping the crystal wrap around. Make sure to wear gloves because this glue can get very messy and it's hard to remove. While you go around with the wrap pressed down for it to come together and not leave any spaces between. When you like how it looks, you can cut the end off with scissors and apply E6000 glue where you will put the end of the wrap. Let it dry for 24 hours before using. I'm going to be using this for decorative purposes only, but if you want to use it as a real drinking glass, then hand wash only. You can place candles inside, makeup brushes, flowers, the ideas are endless. For the third DIY, you will need the Krylon Looking Glass Silver Spray Paint. This has a mirror-like finish and I purchased it from Lowe's for $10.48. I purchased two flower vases from Home Goods for $9.99 each. I thought that was a great price for the size of them. I put a flat cardboard box down outside and grabbed a water sprinkler from Dollar Tree. I'm sprinkling just a little bit of water inside of the vase and then I'm going to spray paint. I spray painted little by little because I do not want to cover the entire vase. I'm making two mercury glass vases and I wanted a little bit of the see-through look. Now I'm shaking the vase for the paint that is at the bottom to come up and I'll repeat this step until I like what I have. When I was finished, I let it dry for 5 hours outside before I brought it in to make sure it was completely dry and the smell didn't come in my home. I've seen these done on Pinterest and I wanted to try it out for myself to see if they would look just as good. They are definitely a must try because the results are stunning. I'm so excited with how this DIY turned out and how to share it with you guys because I was looking for mercury glass faces. The ones I have been wanting are actually over $100 each and in total for these two I spent $35 for all the supplies to make them which I thought was a great deal. One thing I wanted to mention is that you can't add water in them because the spray paint will easily come off.
This DIY is only recommended with faux flowers. Other than that, I'm really happy with the results. I purchased the champagne and glitter dinner plates from Home Goods, and I love adding them to the tablescape because of the mixed metal look they have. This last tablescape is my favorite because it's full on glam and I can imagine having many family and friends over to enjoy. I gave the head chairs a different plate setting than the rest because I wanted them to stand out on its own and give the table a different elegant look. If you're not following me on Instagram, Denise and I took you along to share the fun we had while shopping at Home Goods. We posted it in our Instagram stories, but in case you missed it, you can follow me at LG Queen Home Decor and look at my highlights. If you watch my stories, you'll recognize this three-tier tray from our shopping trip and I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it and Denise was so sweet to gift it to me. I didn't want her to but she insisted so it came home with me and now it's a special piece in my home decor because it was a gift from her. I hope you enjoy the collaboration between Denise and I. Make sure you check out her video because she created such a beautiful and elegant tablescape. I'll leave a link to her video down in my description box so you guys are going to love her and her beautiful style. This concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching and all your continued love and support. If you're new here, welcome. I would love to have you part of my YouTube family, so make sure you're subscribed and click the bell notification to be notified when I upload my next video. I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.